Hey, what's going on? Matthew Taman here with another Joomla demo and review of another awesome extension. If you're looking to build a mailing list, you want to build a solid following of people that you can send newsletters to, you can send promotion offers, uh, things like that, then this is a great extension to use. Now, email marketing still works. This is an excellent tool for you to do email marketing. It's my go-to uh, email marketing platform that I use. Now, they have other ones out there, and I'm going to show you why this one works a lot better for me, and it may work better for you as well. So they offer two different types they offer the WordPress version and they have the Joomla version. And as you can see, they have over 10 million emails that are sent using this. Okay, so it's something that can handle a pretty decent size. It's not something that, you know, can handle maybe 10,000, 20,000 or so, but you can have as many emails as you have. Again, the emails that you send is going to be based on your server settings. So based on the, the flexibility or the type of server that you have, you may be able to send a thousand emails every 10 minutes. You may be able to send millions of emails throughout a week or so. But again, you have to check the server um, specs in order for you to see how that works. So they have the WordPress again. They have a Joomla. We're going to take a look at some of the features that it has to offer. Your subscribers. I mean, visitors into subscribers. This is a great tool to use. As you see here, you have this pop up when someone comes on your website. And all these are different tools that you can be able to set, you know, um, just a triggers, we call them. It can trigger certain actions. So when someone comes on your website and let's say they stay on there for 15 seconds or so, this is going to pop up. You can set it up to where if they come on there, it's going to automatically just pop up. You can set it where if they scroll to a certain percentage of the page, it pops up. So that's something that's really great to have because that makes visitors want to say, okay, wow, you know, let me just subscribe to this now. I'm sure that you've been on websites that when you go, you get to it, you see a pop up or when you're getting ready to exit off, it says, you know, don't miss this deal. Subscribe now. You can actually get that to work that way. And then also has the ability for you to send newsletters. You can build a solid mailing list. You can create your own newsletters. You have a multilingual. This is a great tool. Again, you know, once you understand how to use it, they have a drag and drop uh, newsletter builder that you can build your newsletter. You can automate your campaign. You can set the schedulings for it. So if you want the newsletter to go out once every week, once every month, once every however time, whatever frequency that you choose, uh, that is how it's going to uh, work. And they have you can um, subscribe to you can unsubscribe. You can send out birthdays anytime that is, you know, when people fill out the basic form and they put their birthdays on there, you can be able to send, hey, happy birthday. You know, that makes people feel special when you remember their birthdays. And also you have WooCommerce integration here as well. You can send out emails uh, with that. And you can also do uh, a lot to avoid, you know, junk mail or to get spam. You know, spam is something that could really affect how your stuff is being received. You know, so they have a setting here which we'll take a look at in just a moment for the spam. Uh, and, and it's pretty good score. You know, it's pretty good score. And you can choose here the type uh, of way that you want to send the preferred method that you want to send SMT, Amazon, SES, uh, send blue mail gun. You have those options. You can check your statistics as well and see how things are going. You can check your click through rate, your open rate, conversion rate. You can check a lot of different things. And we'll take a look in just a moment here. What um, some of the different features that each one has. And this is really great because AC Mailing, it's really awesome. It's something that you pay one, once a year, not something you pay based on the size of your list. I know that if you're just getting started and you want to build your list, paying for the size of your list can get costly. Now, if you're a company that's already established, then you're not worried about the financial part of it. This can still work for you as well because you can plug it in, get it set up and go. So now let's take a look here at the back end of AC Mailing. So this is the WordPress version. This is the demo that they had on this site. The Joomla version looks and functions exactly the same way. It's just different platforms, but in terms of how it looks, in terms of what you can do is the same way. So it's gonna show you here now, when you click on, uh, log into your dashboard, your audience, your emails, and your automation. You can view your list. You can create a new list. You can create different segments. You can view all the emails, create new emails, create new templates. You can view automation, new automation and new mass actions that you want to perform. And then it gives you a global statistics. You see your open rate. 
you see your click-through rate, and you see your bounce rate. Now, these are key statistics for you to pay attention to. You know, with the open rate or people opening your emails, also your click-through rate. Now, usually the click-through rate, if your emails are not being optimized correctly, is going to be very, 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 very low because people can open it, but it's not enticing or engaging enough for them to click on there, so they won't click on it, and that's not what you want. You want for people to open your email and also click on it. And it shows you here in terms of the platform devices, and it was open with web browser, and you can see here your uh, open rate in terms of the time that people check it the most when you send it. You can see open and click rate by the hour when you send it. So all this important statistics uh, and it shows the campaign that you have here. This important statistics that you keep because it helps you to see by the hour, you can check by the day, you can check by the month. So whoever's doing your email campaigns have something that they can look forward to. Now, before you get started, let's take a look first at the configuration because this is one of the first things that you have to do uh, when you get this is you want to configure the site properly. I'm not gonna go through all the details of configuration because I already have a course you know, that covers this. But you can choose your mail settings here. So based on which one that you want to use, you can kind of go through here and then just kind of pick, put the information in there and that will take care of it. You can put a bounce email that this goes to. And then for the queue, you want to choose uh, send report to, you know, on, on the AC mailin. You can choose there for the last crown. Now you want to set a crown because this is going to automate the tasks for you. So if you want this to go once a week, once a month however that works and then you have your subscription here you can allow non logged in users to subscribe or you can restrict it you can redirect after confirmation to a certain you know certain page you can allow subscriber data to modify modify with that authentication so you could clump come through here and for the notification when a new user is created send an email to now you may not want to put something here or you may want to so you go through these and based on the ones that you want, you can put the information there. Now for the WordPress settings, again, Joomla is the same thing. You can display subscription option, WooCommerce checkout too. So if you use WooCommerce, this is perfect. You can allow people to subscribe to what you're doing. And then you have your other license uh, because it's a demo, you don't see anything here. And then you have the interface, which is not shown here. Okay, so you have the bounce handling. Now bounce is, is another key thing too because sometimes people subscribe and put the wrong email there so you want to make sure that all this stuff is set up properly you can set the using them you have the data handling you can integrate google analytics so once you integrate all those things you can see on the back end how that works you know details the statistics after you can check that out and you can do your security here as well and then you can do your multilingual so let's go over now to subscription forms you can check the subscription forms here and you can be able to create new one. So you can choose the widget, short code, you can choose a pop-up, you can choose a header. This what I meant by the pop-up. When you click on that, this is where you can tell ACML and to know when someone come on the site, you see the pop-up, that email, put your email there. You can choose from different uh, styles that you want to be able to use. You know, automation, you know, subscribe to design you can choose the list for them to subscribe you can display the fills so you scroll through here i'm not going to go again every single step but this here it shows them what to do so after the subscribe what do you want to redirect them to you can put them to a uh, a different message a different page but this is a great way too for you to get people to subscribe uh to your newsletter so let's just cancel this and you send the difference let's go back to create and again, you can use a widget, you can use a short code, you can use a header. These are just the several options that you have. And you can check out your subscribers list, all those that are subscribed. You can check out your custom fills. You go to create new custom fill, and then you can be able to name, you can choose the fill type, there's an area, radio. Uh, all this is great if, if you wanted to collect additional information from your subscribers, and you can choose which information that's been shown on the front end. And let's go over now to your list. You can create as many lists as you need to. Let's check this test list out that have a lot of subscribers in there. It's shown you subscribe. These are not confirmed. That's another thing too. You may want to do double confirmation or double subscription. And what that means is when someone say they want to subscribe to your newsletter or your emails, 
the system is going to automatically once they put the email is going to send them an email for them to confirm now you do that when you want to make sure that people are serious about connecting with your site okay so you make sure that they you may want to do double subscription on there you know so that they confirm it so they know that they're serious you know they're serious as well so you can click to to unsubscribe users from there you can manage your subscribers you can move them through different lists and you can build a list as many lists as you need to so if you're a large company or medium-sized company or you have several uh, newsletters that you want to target or send out you can create as many as you need and you can assign different colors for each one so that way you know okay for marketing for updates special offers whatever it is I have you know different things that I'm doing and then you here you can be able to go segment you can create different segments uh, for users here search filters AC Mellon and then you can create your emails this is where you go to build it so let's click here for example this test one it shows you you can preview the preview line you can select an attachment and they also have some templates which we're going to take a look at in a moment so if you don't know where to start and you need some help you can use a template to be able to build it with so it's the process you choose a template you choose the type of format that you want to go with right so if you don't know where to begin or you just want to buy a template well, you can purchase one of the templates that they have you see here they have multiple templates you can purchase or if you want to do it from scratch you choose let's say you choose this one and you can be able to start from scratch to build your template and it gives you a good outline for you to start um, to be able to edit that so you go to templates and you can start from an empty template if you want to do that and this is usually sometimes what people may you know want to do so now you can attach documents as well to it you click to edit email and then this is where you're able to you know kind of edit drag and drop different things here so I'm gonna drop that there and I can choose one insert you know that I can drag events put there I can choose the title so this is a, a simple way for you to you know finish your edit and then you can put some code in there if you need to uh, but you don't really have to for that and then you can choose different blocks so you see the options here for the blocks you can choose the different type that you want to put in now three column here you can put in four so this is a really easy drag and drop builder that you can be able to use and then once you're done you can save the template or you can just click cancel and we'll X out of that and then now let's take a look now at uh, email overrides and you have the automation you have the queue you have statistics you have add-ons that you can use contact form article this are the different add-ons that you can incorporate in you have the bounce and let's go over now to the automation here so let's say I want to create something new okay with the automation you can create several triggers that um, you know this is every day at a certain time every week on so this is a great way too if you want to automate your process um, for that but again, this is a really great tool that I recommend for you to get. You take a look at the pricing. You can start off zero just to get a feel for it. And then you have your other 29 pounds, um, you know, up to 89. So this is not that expensive. You know, it's very affordable for you to be able to use uh, an investment because if you were to get other services, they would charge you based on the emails that you sent. And as you can see here, this has unlimited number of emails sent for zero dollars so even if you wanted to just try it out you can send unlimited number of emails for zero dollars you don't have to pay anything for it so if you're looking to build a mailing list and you are looking for something that gives you good quality gives you great support gives you flexibility and a lot of you know different features this is really great for that and if you say you know what I want to do a little more then go for the enterprise version you know which is less than a hundred dollars and you can be able to get this and you get all the features all the bells and whistles that you need in order to build something great so make sure you go to acmailing.com and you grab this one just don't stick with the free version but get out of the essential or the enterprise and i guarantee that you're going to love it if you would like to learn how to build professional websites with joomla make sure you head over to my website matthewtamin.com 
click book a session so you can learn one on one live how to build websites, how to customize your websites and skip the learning curve. So make sure you head over there right now and I look forward to working with you.